I'm WSA 9 weather watch meteorologist Topper Shutt. We are tracking Fiona late Thursday night. Now what do hurricanes need? They need warm water. Oh, there's no shortage of that. Uh, check this out. Water temperature 85 degrees southwest of Bermuda. They also don't like upper air shear and there's no shear, so there's nothing that's going to keep Fiona from uh, maintaining its strength, uh, maybe strengthening a little bit. OK, here are the winds as of 10 o'clock on Thursday night. I mean, the waves as of 10 o'clock on Thursday. Uh, check this out. 47 foot wave. That is incredible. And uh, that's Hurricane Center thinks the waves by the time this storm gets to Canada could be 80 to 90 feet. That's kind of mind blowing. Think about eight or nine stories. OK, Fiona category four winds uh, holding steady 130 gust to 160. By midnight on Friday, it's just to the west of Bermuda. And even though it's pretty far west, Hurricane Center still thinks two to four inches of rain, hurricane force winds, and certainly tropical storm force winds for about a, a six to 12 hour period. And then it turns back up toward uh, the Canadian uh, Maritimes. And wow, uh, you know, places like Halifax could get hit. I mean, winds are still 110 miles per hour, 3 a.m. on Saturday morning. Maybe a cold core by then, but still could produce winds of 85 miles per hour uh, by 3 p.m. Saturday afternoon. That's going to be a big deal uh, up in Canada. No doubt about that. Hurricane warnings in effect for Bermuda. That'll probably continue through about noon on Friday. And we have hurricane watches and tropical storm watches out uh, for Halifax and St. John and New Brunswick uh, and most of Nova Scotia. OK, now let's talk about storm number two. This could become Hermine as we go into, say, Friday or Saturday, and then here are the computer model tracks. They're a little better than they were earlier in the day. They're not quite the wide fan, but still each line's a, a track, and, you know, after about 24 hours, they're kind of beginning to diverge, okay? So we'll focus on two models, yellow, our model, GFS, red, that is the European model. So very different here. Monday, they both had the storm pretty intense. European has it over Cuba, which will weaken it a bit. Then it brings it across the Keys, which would be pretty devastating, and then across into South Florida, Southwest Florida. American model keeps it offshore still. By Wednesday now, the European says, OK, it's across Florida, headed into the Atlantic. Not a problem for the Southeast Coast or the uh, Mid-Atlantic Coast. GFS says, hang on. I'm going to slow it down a little bit and push it more toward the Florida Panhandle. And that is into Thursday night or Friday morning could make landfall in the Florida Panhandle. So the takeaways are the devil's in the details. We know the storm's going to develop. We know it's going to be a pretty big storm, too. So right now we're looking at a category four storm with uh, Fiona winds at 130. So it's a low end category of four storm. But still, that's our first major hurricane uh, of the season. And uh, you know, so the winds, Alex, Bonnie, Colin, tropical storms, Danielle, category one, Earl, category uh, uh, two, and then Fiona, category four, Gaston, just a category one, Hermine, could be mean. We'll, we'll, we'll keep you posted on that. Okay, so hurricane development, we are in, of course, the busiest month. 36% uh, of all hurricanes develop in September, but even October, we have 19% uh, development. But you know what, we've got, 14, uh, 10 to 14 named storms to get to, and we're running out of time in terms of making that uh, NOAA forecast. But a couple takeaways. Fiona could be, uh, could hit Bermuda pretty hard. Could be devastating for the Canadian Maritimes. And Hermine could really affect uh, either Florida and or parts of the Gulf Coast. And if the GFS track is correct and it goes further west into the Florida Panhandle, Panhandle, then that storm could then work its way up the Appalachians and affect us as well as we get into the following weekend.